What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're going to be taking in this old computer that was donated to me and we're going to be turning it into a cybersecurity tool. But you can do this also uh, for free. So you could take use your old computer, your old laptop or your your mom's old computer or somebody you know old junk computer and turn it into a cybersecurity tool for free. Um, in this video I'm going to be installing Kali Linux onto um, this computer and I really think this is cool because I haven't seen Windows 8 in such a long time <laughs> and this is a touchscreen so I'm wondering if the touchscreen feature will work with Kali Linux I have a lot of doubts with it but I'm really really uh, excited to see what we can do with this touchscreen so I have actually two of these devices so if I break it we have other opportunities to make other things in the future too uh, I might donate one to somebody now we're going to turn this device into a working cybersecurity tool all right, so the first step when it comes to getting on these computers, your old computer, is turning off safe boot. Now, some of the really old computers don't have safe boot, but if you have safe boot enabled, which is on usually on default, it will prevent you from putting in a bootable flash drive or something like that. So let's go ahead and look. I'm pretty sure this one doesn't have a password set, which is good. Secure boot is enabled. We're going to disable it. How do you disable it? This one says to... There we go. Enter, disable. Okay, and then F10 to save. We did. So again, we turned off secure boot. There it is right there. Secure boot, disabled. Now, if I was to plug in a flash drive, it should recognize it and it'll let me boot off the flash drive. And once that we do that, we'll be able to fully install a different operating system on this device. All right, so your next step is to plug in your bootable uh, flash drive with your ISO on it. So I made a full video on how to make these bootable flash drives. I'm going to put the link in the description for the sake of time in this video. It's bad enough I already had to do this in two parts. Just click the link in the description. The video walks you through in detail on how to make one of these. So this right here has Kali Linux on it. Be plugging this into the computer and then booting into the boot menu and then choosing the boot off of this device. And then from there, I can fully install Kali onto this device. Hey, it's Ghost. So if you don't see in this video, I hit the restart button. So make sure you reboot your computer after you change your BIOS settings. For me, I had to hit F12, but for you, it could be any one of the F keys, depending on your model computer. Okay, and we got to find the USB. There it is. Okay, boom. All right, so we want to do an install. Me again. Uh, correction, we're going to be doing just a live boot. The full installation will be in part two. All right, so we went through the installation process, um, and uh, I actually aborted it because I actually want to do a live boot on this one. So you have two options. So you can go through that whole process you just saw me starting to do, and uh, you can fully install it. So when you turn on the machine, it only boots into that operating system. Um, there's other options out there. But for this demonstration, I'm just going to do a live boot. So this way I don't have to waste too much time trying to do the installation because it might take a long time considering on how old your machine is. And this is one of the older machines I've had. So we're going to let this boot up and we're just going to run through some stuff. All right. So we successfully launched into the live boot and a hidden bonus. I didn't realize it, but the touchscreen actually works on this. I can run Kali Linux all using this touchscreen monitor here. That is so cool. So again, this is an all-in-one PC that was donated as what you saw earlier was running Windows 8. But now I got a full-blown touchscreen Cali device here. Now I didn't fully install it. This is a live boot. I really want to put Parrot OS on here for two reasons. One, I'm more familiar with Parrot OS and uh, Parrot Security OS. I just like it. Um, it's very easy um, to understand. It's a little bit, uh, I think, like more GUI friendly than Kali. Parrot OS is, I think Parrot Security OS is better at keeping you private online because it has a lot of built-in features that I can get into in another video. But for right now, I'm doing the live boot of Kali. Now we're running everything off the flash drive. Um, this is not installed onto the computer. Um, you have the option to do that. We're not going to do that in this video because I want to put Parrot Security OS on this device. And plus, now that I know that the touchscreen works, I'm really excited to see how Parrot operating system is going to work with the touchscreen. I'm really excited because this is really giving this whole device a new life. And uh, that's how you, that's in your situation, you're going to be doing the same thing. You have the option to wipe the OS in the background and uh, completely install this where it's only uh, the Linux operating system. 
or you can do what I just did, have a live boot, and you can choose between both OSs if you still want to use the windows in the background or whatever operating system you're throwing this on top of. You can, it won't delete anything, and you can just work off the uh, flash drive, but usually if you have a really old computer, you want to fully install it this way you don't have to worry about that kind of stuff, and you don't have to go through the boot menu every time. Um, you can also set it up where if you do have your USB plugged into the computer, there's a BIOS setting that will make it boot off of the USB first before it boots off the hard drive so you don't have to consistently hit the F12 button and make sure or wherever key it is for you and click the right option. It could just automatically boot uh, flash drive first. With that said, I want to install Parrot OS. I think I'm going to come back tomorrow and get the proper um, flash drive because I don't have it with me right now and we'll do that. But those are your two options. So we, it's successful. I'm, we have it, and there's tons of free tools here. I mean, this is, again, the flash drive. You can probably find any cheap flash drive. You can go online and download the ISO, um, set it up as a bootable flash drive. Again, that video is on in the description if you don't know how to do something like that. And just take an old computer. I tell all my friends and people, hey, if you have an old computer, please, get, please give it to me. I have two of these computers, these touchscreen computers. Now they're going to be completely... I'm so excited because now I have these two brand new computers basically that can run Kali Linux and Parrot Security. I can have both side by side. So I might even do that. And I might even give one away. So I, this is your recycling. I love that part that you're being better on the environment. I also love that you have a free security tool. You don't have to go buy a Wi-Fi pineapple. There is tons of Wi-Fi hacking and pen testing tools here. There is wireless attacks. You get all this stuff right out of the gate. Um, Netcat, I mean, this is, there's so many things, there's Wireshark on here, I mean, you, there's so many tools on here that it's, and again, all for free, it's all part of, it's all part of this operating system, you don't need, like, if you're starting out, I recommend doing this first, before you go buy any gadgets or anything like that, start with the free stuff first, and if you really love it and you really get interested, go, go explore a little bit more, but with that said, I'm going to... Um, jump to tomorrow thank you for watching this video so i had to break up this video in two parts because it was just so long it was almost over 20 minutes so this is the first part and i'm going to be releasing the next video in a week in part two you're going to see full installs with cali linux and as well as parrot home please remember to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss it make sure you hit that like button to support me and if you want to be a channel member that really helps support these types of videos members get special benefits on my channel thank you for watching and i'll see you in part two of this video